Hello, I'm Jasper. And I'm Shirleth. And we're going to be and showing you... And we'll be showing two models of um, Obsidian Generator. The first one is Shirleth's, which is use, used in caves when there's a large amount of lava. Yeah, if you've got a lot of lava, and a lot of water above that lava, then what you do is you get that water, lead it down to the lava, and let it in. As and you can see, it makes this little pool here, and every amount of obsidian, it keeps generating it lower and lower. Until you run out of lava, er, and water. And slash or water. See. Yeah. My one is a completely handcrafted method. And you'll want... I usually do mine below ground, just since it makes it easier to have enough space to place these tanks, because they have to be high. They have to be above this little area, which is where you're actually going to get the obsidian. You can also mine from below it if you do it up in the sky. It just depends on preference, actually. And if you mine this out, you'll keep generating obsidian more and more and more. The one flaw of this is that you lose a lot of whichever material you decide to not hold in the tank at first. This is also a very small scale compared to other generators that I've done with this method. Uh, you have to make sure that there's a dirt block right here so that they don't get into each other's tanks. If one material gets into another material's tank, it generally screws over the whole process, losing a lot of whichever material it is that the tank has been invaded. And as you see, I've ran out of water because it's a small scale, and it's just not generating any more obsidian. But if you do it a larger model of just with this exact concept, then it should work perfectly. Also, you can refill your water and lava very quickly. And there you go, I can remind <coughs> some obsidian because it's being filled back up. And those are just the two easiest and quickest methods to generate obsidian.